for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel so cancer in the recent past we got this fool card and it's with the four of pinnacles now the fool card it's an indicator of newness in one form or another so it could be like a new beginning that you were experiencing in the recent past in many ways it can indicate the purity and open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child children they're trusting and trust it forms the basis of meaning for this card so it's a positive card to get in a reading it would have been important for you to take your time though and be sure that you were looking where you're going and i say this because if you see the this young man he looks like he's about to walk off of a cliff so he's just so gun ho and ready to go for this new beginning that he actually walks off of a cliff and what's below him is all blue water it looks like a huge ocean so yeah be careful you're ready to jump right in but just take precautions or just be alert yeah because if you tr trust yourself to take a step into the unknown that's one thing but doing so without any thought whatsoever it, it would have been a big mistake thank god that was a recent past if you did make a mistake but it's interesting because uh it's paired with the four of pinnacles which is a card about holding on to things people money or situations longer than it's healthy or realistic when this card appears it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way yet yeah, in an in an unhealthy way Four of Pentacles, it points to fear and anxiety because if you could look at this man's face, his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode. Yeah, he's on all fours, so he's clinging on to his Pentacles. Now, when you hear the word Pentacles, just a little education here, that means money, cash, coins, finance. Yeah, he's on all fours of his his coins, his hands and feet. His hands and feet are stuck like glue to those pinnacles. And if a huge brick came and knocked them upside the head, he'd still be clinging on to those pinnacles. So there's some there was some unhealthy clinging here. Wow, what happened, cancer? Because it looks like uh, in the recent past, you were ready to jump in, just take a leap. So you jumped right into something. And then you were afraid to lose it. Or someone was doing you this way. They clinged on, they were clinging on really tight. So there was some unhealthy clinging. You jumped right into something. You were ready to take a leap on some, maybe a new beginning with someone or a situation. And then it caused a lot of anxiety. Fear. Holding on too tight to a situation or a lover. Or someone was attempting to do that to you in the recent past. Something you jumped right into it, was excited to go for it. And then there, there came this unhealthy fixation someone could have been resistant to change maybe it was you or your person but yes yeah, something unhealthy un unhealthy like this happened something you were gung-ho about and just jumped right in and then you got this some type of unhealthy fixation so that's a recent past let's see what's coming up for the present time now we got the ten of wands and the Ten of Swords. So this Ten of Wands, you could start to feel like you're carrying some type of heavy burden. So you might wanna look at it hard and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you may find that part of the burden that you start to carry or that you're carrying now, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and don't try to take on too much. Now it's with this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is about ruin, feeling ruined or something's ruined, failure, defeated. 
it's a sign that you um, have to be careful or you feel like you should be careful about where you put your trust or you need to be careful about trust because when the 10 comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable well it's a pretty clear answer of no if you look at the picture you see how this man has all these swords stabbed in his back but try to keep in mind that when whenever a door closes another door opens and you're being guided to a situation that's better for you so trust yourself and trust in, in the universe all right so for the present time this with these two cards paired together the ten of wands and ten of swords uh something starts to feel really difficult yeah it starts to feel like a heavy burden something the connections you could be dealing with someone that's starting to feel really difficult the connection and you're just not trusting the the connection anymore you just feel like it's failed it's ruined you feel defeated and you just it's a burden and you just yeah you feel out for the count you're down and out painful rock ending bottom you don't trust the situation or the connection anymore it could still be the same person from the recent past because the recent past could have been a week ago a month ago three months ago six months or more i'm picking up for a lot of you cancers it's the same person that uh is clinging on really tight to you in an, in an unhealthy way or you clinging on real tight to someone and it's just starting to feel really difficult like this is a burden and you just feel defeated so that's what we got coming up or you could be feeling that way now or it could go into september just remember when you get these readings time is fluid because they're not personal readings. These are gen general readings. So yeah, something's gonna make you feel kind of ruined and defeated. And it's just difficult. Something is difficult because the 10 of wands, the card that's above the word present, that's the 10 of wands. You see how this man, he's carrying these wands. He's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So. Let's get off the present. Let's see what's going on for the challenge. We've got the King of Pentacles and is with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the King of Pente Pentacles is success and money matters. It's a sign that it's really not a time to be a maverick, but it's going to be the time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, when this card stands for actual person in your life it could refer to a very masculine type with hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum if it's referring to a man in your life just know that this is a man who you can yes you can believe in and trust absolutely now it's with the king the king of pentacles is with the will of fortune so this is good because i'm not crazy about the present time well, of fortune, it actually means good fortune. You're at a turning point and fortune is in your favor. Thank God, because I don't, like I said, I don't like the present time for you. So this card, it does also reminds us that this too shall pass because it's a will. It's a will, <laughs> not a will, but a will, not that kind of will. Anyway, you see the picture. It's an actual will. It turns. So whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. And if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. And that's okay, just roll with the changes and stay positive. So like I said, the challenge, Cancer, is good. It's really good. Because it looks like you've been through something that was unpleasant. So fortune is finally in your favor. And then you got someone that's coming in here. Could be someone new or someone that you know. This King of Pentacles is good. This person will be career focused. 
Uh, they're the type that likes, they're not afraid of commitment. They, this person is going to want to secure a connection with you. Uh, King of Pentacles, like I said, it's good. It's a very stable type. Good father. They make good fathers. So you got somebody here that's good for you. And fortune is, it's in your favor. The wheel is swinging in your way. And, um, it's good fortune. So things are transforming for you. They're changing. You're in a cycle of good fortune. And you've got somebody that's good for you coming in. This person will want success with you in this connection. It could be the same person that's clinging on to you or you clinging on to them. And it felt really difficult. It could be anything is possible, but it looks like at one time you were ready to jump into that and things just got difficult. So I'm picking up for most of you as someone new or maybe someone that you already know and you feel and it, it and it works out. It's working out really good. This person wants success and it's going to feel like fortune is finally in your favor. So that's a challenge and let's find out what the outcome is going to be. Now we got temperance and ten of pentacles. Temperance is about finding balance, peace of mind, possible reconciliation. Things will be going really well. But you might find you need to look at some deep personal issues if you have any and see if they're standing in your way. So it's going to be important for you to know that before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you need to have peace of you need to have peace within yourself. So take this advice because when temperance shows up, it's about finding balance. So you're going to have to look at what you feel guilty about, any past mistakes that you feel you've made. Then forgive yourself and let it go. Let it go because it's the only way you can truly make progress in life and with, with relationships. So... You're, the outcome is that you might be trying to find balance in your life. Take that advice that I just gave you. A lot of people hold on to things that mistakes that they made in the past. And it just causes, what, do you, what is that word? It causes um, a slippery slope. You know how some people, they go on a diet and then they, they're doing really well. And then all of a sudden they have a piece of cake and then they say, oh, I'm doing good. I can have some more cake the next day. And then the next day turns into three and four days and you've, you've had so much cake and you've forgotten about your diet. But anyway, they call that a slippery slope. So yeah, it's kind of like, you know, you got to let go of any past mistakes so that you don't keep falling backwards. Yeah, forgive yourself. Even if you have to ask for forgiveness so that you can cleanse and free yourself from any past hurt or any pain that you've caused other people. So it's about finding peace of mind. That's the outcome. And what's beautiful is that it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. It means that you're going to have a lot of things to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds. Finance, health. All those things would be going really well for you, Cancer. So you might feel like you're going to have to consider how you got to such a happy situation after you've been through such a, a drag down in the recent past. So go ahead and make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we know how karma works, right? Karma. We get back what we give out. Whatever you put out to people, comes back to you. Whatever you put out to the universe, it comes back to you. Not only does it come back to you, but you know what they say. It comes back to you three times big or three times bigger or ten times bigger. So it comes back even larger. So your outcome is beautiful. You're going to try to find balance, peace of mind, and you got this person that wants success with you, King of Pentacles, and the for fortune is in your favor. And then you've got this beautiful Ten of Cups. I'm, not, I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles. 
Yeah, where Ten of Pentacles also, for a side note, when it talks about love and relationships, it's a great indicator. It could mean that the connection will move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All those things is an indicator by this card, of this card. So it's a peaceful, happy period in your life. So enjoy it. Um, I should also tell you, Ten of Pentacles is about second chance. So this King of Pentacles could be someone that you know who's wanting a second chance and they realize that you're the one. And it feels good because you feel like fortune is in your favor and you, you're, you're getting your balance back. And then the connection, it works out really well. Goes to the next level, living together, childbirth, marriage, your family life as well. Your pets are doing good. Everything is good with the Ten of Pentacles. So, Cancer, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. When I post my next reading. When I post my next reading.